Well, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, this is Steve Smith, and you are joining me for the premiere of Live with Nature in the Get to Know series. We have Tim Ray and Shannon McVeigh from Awaken Atlanta this evening. It's going to be spectacular. It really is. And I'll tell you what, it's just going to be so exciting. I'm very, very excited. This has been a long time in uh, putting this together for this opportunity to be able to talk and get to know these guys. I'm really looking forward to this. I want to go ahead and make sure that I send them an invitation that they uh, are aware. Hey, this is what we're doing. Uh, so if you'll bear with me just a half a moment, I'm going to send them an invite right now. So we want Tim Ray. Invite Mr. Tim Ray. And he's sending me a message now. I'm inviting him. And then I also want to send it to Shannon McVeigh. So how is everybody doing? I hope you've had a great day. It's Tuesday. I've had a good day. It's been very busy. But, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. Keeping busy. So let's just do this. Shannon McVeigh. I've sent the messages. All righty. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I just want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, he just sent me a message. When are we going live? Well, I'm on live now. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. Awaken Atlanta is such a dynamic, dynamic show. I'll tell you what. This is what I uh, found out. I was lucky enough to be able to catch a broadcast. He was doing an interview with um, Sophie Nubani and Bob Choate with Wisdom Cafe. And I saw him on this uh video and it was just unbelievably spectacular i said boy i just really need to know this guy and so as a result um boy i decided i want to introduce him to everybody that i know because their show is spectacular if you haven't seen their show yet you've got to check it out it is really really exciting it's very enjoyable uh and it's a conscious way to start your day that's what their tagline is. I just want to read a little bit to you about this. Uh, I want to say welcome to everybody that takes time to come in. Hopefully there won't be any complications because I know that I tried to do this the very first time and we had a miscommunication on timing and that happens. I understand that. Um, let me just see if they're here. There he is. Tim is in the house. I'm going to bring him on and I also know that Shannon McVeigh is going to be on believe just in a moment here too so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to send this invitation um let's do that all righty so we're going to bring tim on and i'm just going to send him this right now okay requests let me just do this Uh, bear with me here. I am not necessarily that um, technical, so uh, I am just kind of learning it as well. So if you'll bear with me a half a moment, I'll make this happen for us. I will. That's the idea. Um, soon, someday, I'm going to have everything I need to be able to do this properly. So now if I can stop seeing all this other stuff, I'll get it right. Tim Ray, done. All right, so let me just back up a second here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Add viewers to the broadcast. Let's see. Tim Ray, there he is. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to send me an invite right now there, Tim. I thought that I could just simply do this, but you know what? I'm having issues. Requests. Add viewers to be in the broadcast. Correct. All right. Okay, well, you know, didn't say I knew it all. I've already lost a couple of viewers, but I'll tell you what. That's okay, because we will make it happen. Shannon is there, too. So now... If I can just do it, hit the green button. 
All right, so I wanted to bring viewers to be in the broadcast. There we go. We're going to bring Shannon on right now. Shannon will be with us. It's adding right now. And I'll tell you what, Tim is going to be with us in just a minute here. I know that he will. And this is going to be such a dynamic thing. I'll tell you what, I'm very excited about this. I appreciate everybody that's taking time to come and join me. We're here in Sarasota, Florida. And the bottom line is, is that I love to meet and get to know dynamic people. That's what it's about. It's about getting to know people that make a difference for other people. It's about serving other people and just doing our best that we possibly can. Like I said, I'll tell you a little bit about Tim. Tim is known as the conscious voice of the South. Okay? Well, uh, we've got Shannon coming on, and she is, they call her the bubbly, uncensored Shannon Fay. And it's adding, it says it's adding, <laughs> but it's taken a minute. I'm not sure why. No answer from live video, guess so. <laughs> Uh, Tim, hit the green button. Yeah, we'll get it here. Uh, oh, why is it not just let add? No, let's see. How am I supposed to do this? I tell you what, it just could be easier for me, but it's not. I'll approve that. I see it coming through. Bring Shannon McVeigh on. Tell you a little bit about Shannon. Shannon is currently the co-host. <laughs> oh, wait, look! <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even know what we're doing, but now we're on my phone and not the... <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Wait. Media. 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 We're trying to get it on his computer so we can hear you. Oh. Oh. That would be better. That would be better. Yeah, because I have no idea. I don't even know if I just sent. I have no idea what's happening. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Well, thank God our executive producer is here tonight. Yes. Because we're having a spades tournament. Are you? Are you? Well, I really am. Well, I really am. Are you? Are you? All right, I'm hanging up with you. I think it's on his now. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, because I have no, no idea. That's I have no idea. What you, so we have what to do. What you can do is... Yeah. 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 There's a lot of background noise. We're going to get rid of it. No, we're going to get rid of it. Hang on, Steven. We're trying to figure this out. All right, here we go. We're doing it from my phone? Yes, yes we are. I'll be up to get stuff here. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're doing it from my phone. Yes. <laughs> I don't have a movie. But I don't have one yet. Hopefully we'll get these technical things straightened out pretty quickly. I'll tell you what. It can be difficult. It knows that Steven is trying to do something. So it always happens for me is it always makes it challenging. If he wants to flip over onto his computer, that's going to be fine. It'll take them a minute to go into the computer, get logged on and come on in here. They need to be in here and then I can send them an invite. A little bit more familiar until we Lovely in the uncensored Shannon McVeigh, and they go live every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6:30 to 10:30 every morning, and it's about starting your day with a conscious way. Uh, you know, uh, she has said she's here to serve us and to help other people live in a mindfulness fashion in a positive manner. She has worked at the CW, and she's worked as an iHeart Radio host. She's worked with the Buck and Dex Radio Show. And the MTV, uh, MYTV, excuse me, and having moved from New Mexico, she currently resides in the Atlanta area. All right, so I'm going to send a link to Ray. That's what I'm seeing here. So I don't even know how I can send a link necessarily. Um, I don't know how you send a link necessarily. 
what I know, I, I guess I need to work on this because <laughs> I've had problems in the past and what we need to do is just figure out how to do it because I'm not using sophisticated media equipment. I'm really not. So they can come on to the as a viewer. That's what they need to do. And then when they do that, then I can add them and I can invite them to come on to the show. That's how it works. That's how I've done it in the past. Now, I've got a request, so they're coming in. Shannon McVeigh, and we'll approve that. All right. Now, I'll answer it. says, let's try this again. What am I having issues? Add. <coughs> no answer. <clears throat> I don't understand. Don't understand. So, I was saying that she lives in the Atlanta area now. And I want to tell you a little bit about uh, Tim Ray. Okay, I told you that I met him uh, through a video that I was watching at Wisdom Cafe, uh, Sophie Nubani, Bob Choate, and I heard what he was trying to do with this media company, and I was thinking, wow, that is so dynamic. Uh, I just really need to get to know this person better, and as a result, I've been watching their show. I'm growing, I'm learning as a result of the broadcast that they put on there. It's a really great way to start a day. Um, I'm seeing a couple requests here. Shannon McVeigh, approve. We have another person that's asking. Um, this is the show for... You might just have to come on her phone. You might just have to come on her phone. If you are now. You're there now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someday, you know, someday Tim, 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 I'm going to have some really great cameras, cameras, support groups, so that I can do the show like you guys do on the morning. And tell you, that day is coming, day is coming but, it's not today. but it's not today. So I was just telling you. I was just telling, I was just telling a everybody a little bit about Tim, but I'm going to go again. If you didn't read this, you were known, you known as the Cubs of the South. You were an award winning You were an award winning international third deal shift in no CS two secret. After spending a lot of years working back with that hard and going about the average shop, you eventually hit a crossroads. I was just telling you, you're even going to bury your head in the face. Are you liking this? Are you liking this? Tim was tired of talking to Katie, right? He was bombarding the world. They were bombarding the world with things that they didn't And so he didn't even have to light a torch and gather an army of people who were leaving the power of their attention. You want to go and land? You want to go and land? That much I know. That much I know. You do you have to light sword to gather an army of people who are leaving the power of their intentions. So in 2009, he founded the United States of Media, the media that brought an organization to the business to others in learning how to transform worries and positive intentions. So Tim's past is a conscious and a conscious and a conscious and a conscious and a and his contact on millions millions to raise mission to raise mission to support the good word about taking the wind and the power of their own power of their own intention. So tell us so tell us about you I mean about you I mean the other there what you're doing there. Sure. Can you hear can you hear me pretty well? I can, Steven? Hear, you I can hear you good. Right, yes, good. it's so, working. Yes. So thank one thank you for, first of all, uh Stephen, for that wonderful intro and um you know, I don't know, technology, what I love about live is nothing ever goes right. And because of that fact, it makes it even worth watching for that fact that, you know, things are going to screw up. And you can laugh at it, right? So right. anybody listening or still listening, guys, start sharing if you can, all right? And, uh, and get the good word out there because we're about to blow your minds on the information we're about to share. So you asked the question, Stephen, about UI media. Basically, yes. Yes. Uh, what uh, this grew into is... I've been so frustrated in reference to mainstream media, the propaganda, the disinformation, the, uh, it, you know, you, you wake up and you want to be your authentic self every day, you learn about that, or you pull back from the matrix in the world, and you realize that we're not being told the truth on many levels, who we really are, and our truth is. 
And so it kind of led me to a direction where I started finding, finding myself, finding and attracting myself to people who wanted to be the authentic self and share the authentic truth, but be uncensored, be truly who they are, not have to worry about being politically correct. Or somebody mm -hmm. hence where Shannon McVeigh comes in. Carry she, on. She showed up at the time, at, at that moment where she could be your authentic self. And um, we uh, we not only started the UI Media Network, but we started Awake in Atlanta, which is a really interesting story in itself. If you want to hear about it, of course he wants I to hear do. about it. But I do. You I hear want to hear about it. Hear you. I want to hear about. I want to hear about Awake. I love that show. Great show. It's a constant way to start our day. And I just and I just love you know what I learned. 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 So, so what, what, what besides was the way you were awake in Atlanta, you wanted to shake up Atlanta and say, wake up with me today? Uh, uh, uh. You know, well, honestly, what was funny, because the UI Media Network, we started out with the Good Intention show, we started out with many other shows on the network, and we had really kind of a, a national, international show, and we had really top people like Thomas uh, Campbell on, Bruce Lipton, we had, uh, you know, Greg Braden, we had a, well, we had a lot of internationally well-known people. David Wilcox. They, you know, uh, exactly. Wilcox. Yeah. I don't even know his last name. He's, uh, it's his interview. Wilcox. And I uh, <laughs> hope we're not going there yet. On a, it's not a week in Atlanta show, yet. I know. Well, it always is in my head. Uh, so we had a really inter international national following, but we didn't have a local following. So what we thought, well, let's create something locally so we get known in our area. That is not at all how it was created. Well, He's that, lying well, me. Well, that was the that was the concept behind it and then of course Shannon shows up <laughs> and she says, she says hey no you gotta do, about, I, you, you gotta do something with, with, with rating with the morning shows you know I'll tell the story you ready for the truth Steven right, sure. Sure. He, they, his people somehow contacted me through LinkedIn and I thought that I was going to be a host of his show I thought that he was <laughs> ill for a day and he needed somebody to host and do an interview right. so i showed up right. and i'm like okay who am i interviewing what is this about and they're like oh no we're interviewing you and i thought what and then they wanted to interview me on how to be conscious and i thought right away omg i am so the least conscious person i know <laughs> i am like shock value i'm a shock jock i do not know what i'm doing but it actually turned out to be one of the best most organic honest shows in my life from the entertainment industry everywhere that i worked being the face of the television stations to the number one morning radio show in new mexico this was so authentic and I was super, super excited about it. So fast forward a little bit and they asked me to do a morning or no, not a morning, but like a radio show for moms. And I said, no, I'm going stick to with, stick with morning radio. And that's how it happened. So he said, okay, if you're sticking with morning radio, why don't we create a morning show? And that's the magic of Awake in Atlanta. And then we literally, he's, he's so brilliant and he knows my ADD is so real. He created it. A meeting once a week. It was every Tuesday for what a year, maybe eight months. Four months. Five. No, it was like longer. It was, way longer. it was like a year. Wow. It was a year and wow. And then Awake in Atlanta was birthed. So that's our baby. That's really awesome. That's really awesome. It really is. You're, you're, you're touching, touching a lot of people. Touching a lot of people. people. That's, that's what I found. Wow. It, wow. It's, 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 the, 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 story the story is awesome. awesome. And you just keep putting it. Wait, you're the better in swimming line. She tries to keep me alive. There's no keeping Tim Ray in line ever. Actually, you can do it. It's this one over here because. Right. She knows right. pull, she knows how to pull my strings and what to say and what not to say. It really is. And I have to say the chemistry is pretty off the hook. And that's one reason when we were doing our first show, we thought, all right, well, this is gonna be something because the chemistry is really cool. Let what Shannon, what idea do you have? And we, we we really were looking for a local show we could do to get all of Atlanta uh, uh, kind of motivated. And, and to, across America. And across America. But you listen from Sarasota. Yeah, but we're in the Bible it's Belt. Well, exactly. Steve, yeah. we're we're in the Bible belt, you know, and a lot of the Bible belt, like like of all the folks who listen to our shows are from California, and they're not even doing our same time frame when we're playing, right? But when the right. Bible goes, you right. hear a lot about what we talk about. I mean, Shannon comes from the Bible. I come. I love Jesus. I love the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Right. Like I am. Right. 
But we're getting our message across and we're really bridging a gap between one world and another because we really feel and say the same things. It's just different terminology. Right, exactly. It is. It is. And I think that's what connects me with our first I love me some Sophie. Yes, I think yes, just I love him so very much. Him so very much. He loves him so much. No, they, he's like got a big crush on her. <laughs> How can you know? Insane. <laughs> Girl crushes on Sophie. Yeah, I don't blame yeah, you, know, you know, beautiful. You know, beautiful. She is. She is. Um, but um, you're so wise. 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 you I think that's the biggest thing right there is that's what we're here to do. We are, I, you've heard me say this time and time again on Awaken Atlanta, is we are here to serve humanity. We are here to get the message out. We are here to speak our truth and create a platform for everybody else to speak their truth. Whatever it looks like, all difference of opinions, race, cultures, it doesn't matter. We love you. We accept you. And here's the platform to say whatever it is you want to say. I think that's the with you know, with you know, with, you know, with at the same time our own judgment. You know, we're able to not be politically correct. And political, oh. political correctness is often a, a, is a, is a is a form of censorship, for my in my opinion. Guys, right. right, right. When people I agree. are I agree. To that where they can't, they're worried about triggering somebody or whatever the case may be. And this is what mainstream media follows, and and that we're all an alternative to mainstream media, and we're trying to create. A, a new movement out there because everything's going away from FMA and way to the internet, right? And everything mm -hmm. people want mm -hmm. reality. They want really what's going on, and and they have cornered the mainstream media to the point where it has stifled, you know, uh, authenticity, it's stifled truth, and people can't handle it anymore. And they're looking for everything. That's why you know podcasts are so big these days, and right. and life cards are popping up everywhere because people want to be and find more purpose in what the information they're sharing and what they're getting information from. I agree 100%. I agree 100%. It seems like it seems like people, seems like people are telling their story. Telling their story. They're, they're, they're being in their being in their um, um, experiences that they have that was so diverse to get first situations that seem to be seem to be a part of the for them to be able to show their strength and show their strength and what they did to overcome some difficult situations in my experience. And I and I know that and I know that that's why we're connected because we we believe that in the same thing. So, right. so awesome. you just share your story. How are people? How are people? And let them know that let there's light there in the dark places. places. And, you know, I'm willing to I'm willing to And, uh, and uh, I'm just growing. I'm just growing in transparency. It's been about a year and a half now. Uh, people want to hear. People want to hear. Here, here. Well, well, let me ask you, Chris. Let me ask you a question, Stephen. As one interviewer to another, um, what makes you come back to watch it again and again? Well, I know, well, I know, I know that I'm learning from a spiritual, from a spiritual state, and that's really, and that's why really I'm why I do. And so, and it so it is the spiritual connection. I love listening to your listening to your opinions on things we're talking about. We were talking about the Indians, and this morning, this morning, we were talking about the Indians. This morning, this morning, about the politics, the politics, the media, the media, the media, but. You know, you know, it's it's interesting. It's interesting because, interesting because, because I also need to say that you don't say you don't stand for something. I say that all the time. You have to stand for something, or you'll fall for anything. Right. There you right. Go. There you go. But you know, uh, we we are coming, Stephen. I'm sure you've seen it, and this is why the UI Media Network is so important to me. Of course, Wake Atlanta being our flagship is that. Is that the the time of censorship is upon us? I'm telling you, it's happening on YouTube. It's happening on the internet. It's happening on Facebook right now as well. We've been kicked off plenty of times uh, by saying the wrong Ooh. thing that you say. Stacey just got kicked off today. You say you say anything about you know vaccines or uh, anything about immigration? 9/11. Yeah. But it happens all the time now, and that's why it's so important yeah. to be able to be courageous. And to share your truth and get out there and let's let us be a mentor for Well let's another. be fair. Let's be fair. More people are evolving to do this. Do you yeah. agree, Stephen? More people are wanting to hear the truth. I, I agree. I, I agree that people want to hear what's 
What is really going on? What's 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 going on? And, and I think I think because of that, I'm sorry, guys, uh, we're, we're not having earbuds, but I could probably get some earbuds here in a second. Truth is, we had no idea how to connect to this. <laughs> okay, but it's all right. But if there's an echo, hopefully it'll be it'll be okay here in a minute. Um, but you know, it, it, to me, it's so important to be able to, to be able to say without concern how you feel not in a hurtful way more in a loving way and like you said earlier the reason why you listen to you we talk about god all the time and now shan and i may not agree we battle all the time we have a difference of opinions but we we come together with grace and love but we also do believe in a higher power you know and and now you may call him jesus or god i may call him energy or source Yes. But we yes. we do find a common ground that you know we're we're much, whatever's going on is much more than just our individual self. And fun fact for everybody listening, I am always right. <laughs> you know, right. You've always found the too. You know, I'm, I'm always I'm trying to do it. Doing the doing the interview. Doing the interview. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. 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 I so many times and that's one thing that we like to represent we're going to try to do the earbuds because because we didn't have it working through the zoom for some reason or whatever we were on we're gonna try well, you know but, and this um, is the thing as i mean as 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 more professional i'm not you know watching your I'm show and yeah that. there went no away the echo by the way that? yeah um that should make some people happy no, no, we can't. We can't <laughs> yes but it does it really bad you need to turn it in landscape no turn it up because now that we have the headphones um i'm learning like i was saying i've been doing broadcasting myself for uh well, about 20 months now. And I just free flow it uh, personally. It's so and echoey, I, Stephen. Do you hear that? I can hear you. How is that happening? It's like a delay. What did she say? No because what, the, what'd she say? the internet gods aren't going to mess with me. They've been doing that yeah, for a while. I don't know what happened, Stephen. They cut you off. No, this you're back. Crazy. Hold on, listen, listen. It is kind of crazy. I don't understand how that works, but I'm going to solve it for myself. I've got, <laughs> I've got Zoom. I just need to learn how to use it properly, <laughs> right? Um, I mean, I paid you know for the, what? the it's thing okay. and everything. We wanted to be a part of your show because we appreciate all the love and support that you have given us at Awaken Atlanta. Every comment that you've made, every share that you shared, so we really, really appreciate that. Well, I'm a big believer in supporting people that I believe in, that I know that are being honest. There's so many other people out there that all they really want to do is take your money from you, and they're your great friend, and they come on really nice. Uh, and then the next thing you know, they got your money, and they're gone. And they're just out of yeah. your life. Okay. And um, all I'm trying to do as well as what you do, and that's why I, I love this. I mean, I'm honored. I, everybody needs to know I am so honored. This is like the biggest thing I've ever done is be able to have people <laughs> like, you know, Tim and Shannon well, come you, on well, to my you, show. You here. know, um, you know, Stephen, I talked to a lot of folks. I've had an opportunity as well as Shannon. She's it's much better with that in Shannon. Really? Yeah. But I can't hear her. I, I know it's okay. I, 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 you have to figure it out. I, I, I talk to people, a lot of people around the world who um, who started out sharing this type of truth and information, uh, like people like Teal Swan, uh, uh, folks who started out just sharing their own truth, and they come yeah. from you know wherever they come from, and they stay so grounded. Even, and even though you get isolated because you get so overwhelmed, you get people calling you all the time and emails all the time, you get, it becomes a little overwhelming. It really does, and I get mm -hmm. it. But at the same time, you never really lose who you truly are, and and I think that's what's most important. 
when we 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 look at uh, how what we feel, what we say. Time out. Everybody always loses who they are. What do you mean I, you never I, lose I, who I don't, you are? I don't. I don't think I. Yeah, have. because you're conscious of it. Yes. But that's our job: is to bring people conscious, make them aware, make them wake up. Yes. Because we're exactly. sleeping. We're going through life. Now, and, and I, you, you guys put the headphones on, and now the echo went away. Yeah. And I was thinking before I started this video, it's like, I got two pairs of wireless headphones, you know, and it's like, should I put the headphones on? It's like, no, you don't want to do that. Just do it like this. It's like, maybe I should have. I don't know. But, but Stephen, just I want to say to your viewers, whoever's listening right now, yes. uh, is that now's the time. Guys, I don't know if you realized it, but things aren't the same they used to be when we were growing up, okay? It's well, when he was growing up, because you guys are probably closer <laughs> to my age. And, and you wouldn't know any different because you think this chaos is okay. I'm telling you, <laughs> what's happening right now is I call divine insanity. There's a shakeup of our old paradigm belief system. And, and what's being forced now, all these crazy things that I talk about and on the show that Shannon always counters me as much as she possibly mm -hmm. can, is I believe is, is divine insanity. It's supposed to be happening. And when we realize that all this outside information that's, that's coming into our lives on a daily basis mm -hmm. and we give it power because we're going from outside of our own power, ourself, our connection to God, Jesus, you know, all there is, right? Uh, and we give that energy power outside of ourselves. We just lost our ability to create our own reality or at least be in charge of creating or being conscious of creating our own reality. And we go back and forth, this two-step dance all the time. We give it up, we take it in, we give it up, we take it in. But now's the time, is now, now is the time, it's Super Bowl time, is the time for us to be able to go realize- Patriots. Go Patriots. Is us to be able to realize that we have the ability to co-create our reality with a higher power, right? Mm. And if we stay focused and we stay consistent and have fun and joy and be in the flow, things come our way, even though there's a lot of times we fall back. And to add to that, because of his background is a little bit different than mine, and my message is the exact same. However, I believe that we can co-create with Jesus because we have the power within us. Because and Jesus, Jesus wanted says, that the kingdom of God is within you, but we are so blind to that because we want religion, we want control, we want to be sheep. So we are here to wake people up and say, if you want a good life, because so many people be before us have just died. They just died. They died with the, the lack of life that they lived or the, the pain and the stress that they lived. They just died with that. We don't want people to do that anymore. And it's up to us to change it, every single one of us, to love and hold ourselves accountable. Exactly. It is about Amen accountability that, and taking responsibility for ourselves. Certainly. Um, I don't know. Are you still having a problem hearing me? No, no, we, we no, can hear you now. We're, we're all Excellent. caught up. We're all caught can up. Can you now. hear us? <laughs> all right. I love Woo! technology now. <laughs> <laughs> we're I tell a little you. slow, but we got but it. You're right. And and see, that's what I've been doing too. And and I, I, I've morphed, I've changed over the, the 20 months that I've been doing this live with nature thing. And but it's it's it is my passion. It's my passion to bring nature. It's my passion to bring connection to the nature and the connection to the source and connection to people like yourselves that are so wonderful. I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking and talking about it. it it's just so awesome. And, you know, I'm thrilled. I'm just letting the Lord direct me. And so he directed me into the path of being able to have the opportunity to watch you guys in the morning and listen to you. You got what? How many shows now? 12 15 different broadcasts 14, i think 14 15 different shows and we have about uh we have a show each week coming on board so by the end of the year we should have about double the amount wow yeah it's just incredible and i i do recall you saying you wanted to be 24 hour programming as well yeah. at some point yeah and you know and it may we may not be there right now but we're on our way and yeah uh, what's amazing is I've realized, because often, you know, as an entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur, you get very, um, I don't know, impatient that you're not yeah. where you want to be. Or right? number seven on the Enneagram. Right, you know, that too. Right. Uh, and I realized that, you know, and I sit back and I look, I'm like, listen, I got, I got a great crew who I work with, uh, not only from, you know, my partners like Shannon or the other hosts, but I mean, just like, right. like LaShawn and Suchi and Otis and the, Waheed, all the folks we have in studio, Connie. And it's, it's, it's I'm like, it's the journey. You got to be able to sit back and appreciate the journey. And trust me, and sometimes I don't. I get fo focused on the end result. But then when I sit back, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, my God. It's about developing each other and helping each other out and working and moving forward and having that joy of the moment. 
that's when things really start going in the flow and going better for us is when I'm able to, me as the leader, so-called leader, right. Right, be able to sit back and go, you know, th thank you. You know, and I'm in, in Greta too as well. She helps us out a lot from Golden Home Services. It, now, but, you know, it, it's, that's when I really have an appreciation and that's when I think when I allow it, things happen. And see, you know, I didn't have to ask the question because you answered it. I was going to ask you, what about leadership? I mean, did I have to, come on, right there. That is leadership. It's, it's allowing. Leadership is allowing. It is. It is. And, and leadership is, is, is listening, too. I know that it's it is. It's uniting. Yeah. We learned that today on our Awaken Atlanta show. Well, and that was a great show this morning. It really was. It was a united we stand, divided we fall. A very great topic. Um, now, the other thing I want to know, too, is, is I want to know, because I, I, I took a quick snapshot. I'm not sophisticated here. I take a snapshot of what's on the computer, and I used it last night to, to put out the post about, you got to watch this, right? And uh, nonetheless, uh, it was about the millennials. And that was a really great show. Thank it you. really was. And so I want to know, what do you think? Of this? I know. See, that is the millennial. Now, what is your best advice up to the millennials about what's going on today? I mean, how do you think Besides that they can play a part song, to be? I have an answer. Uh, All right, what's your answer, Tim? Of course an you have an answer. Why, of course you know. he has an answer. He's a one-upper. I want to hear both of your be... answers. All right. Okay, back, let, ladies first, let's hear your answer. My advice to millennials, because I, I, I guess I'm considered a millennial. I don't really understand it because I'm an 82 baby. Because she so. likes to hang out with people in their 70s. I do. And, uh, and, <laughs> that's where you know, wisdom comes from. And that's uh, and she, her, her youngest friend is like 65 it's, years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad but true. Actually, it's not sad. It's beautiful because that's they embark wisdom on you. Why would you rather hang out with a 30-year-old that just wants to take a bunch of shots and not talk about anything with substance? Right. She does that too. But, um, but, I'm the well, best of both worlds. Well, what's, your, what's your answer, Shadow? Yeah. Um, what my would... advice to millennials is my advice to every single one of us. I don't think there's a generational block. I think that we have created one. Um, mm -hmm. I do believe that there is culture. So our parents did raise us a little bit differently than their parents and so on and so forth. However, I do think that if we just come with each other with grace and love, we and understand that we're more united because we're all humans, mm -hmm. that we're going to have a much better life and we're going to leave this world a better place than we came into it. That's, well, that's, not that's awesome. That's my um, final answer. Piece. Final answer. You're sticking to it. What's your What's your favorite day? <laughs> April twenty fourth. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? No. World peace. The The Miss America world pageant. Peace. All right. She's, she's She's lost in the TV world. You know. Um, I would that's say awesome. for millennials. Thank you for that. I would say for millennials is that because um, you got the Generation Z coming up behind them, and I would say for millennials. <clears throat> It's great that you're unplugging from the matrix. I get it. And you're following your purpose overall. Just understand that you've got to not lose yourself in the three-dimensional world with the addictions, with the technology, with all that. Bring moderation into your life and help lead us to this new world that we're developing through love. As they know, they know, minimalists know that sense of love. That's, otherwise, it wouldn't be pur purposely driven. Help lead us by stop losing yourself in the world and pull back and engage back in humanity and really be the leaders that you're meant to be. That's why you're here. Help us. Exactly. Help us folks. That's, uh, that's so dynamic. And I think that's so important because, you know, the youth is going to be the people that are leading the country and leading the world in the future. And they are really caught up in the matrix very much. So, you know, I've got a 14 year old granddaughter. I mean, it's like, and I come home and she's like, I've been spent four hours playing this game. And she's out there yelling and screaming at the game. And you know, it's like, hey, yeah, okay, all right, I get it. But you, you know, know what? Digital dimension is a real thing, Stephen. And you that. grow horns on the back of your neck. <laughs> we, we learned that too. So it, Shannon, what have you learned? But I'm thinking, Atlanta? you know, everything in moderation, like you said. Uh, because, and, and I don't know what to say, because I really want to focus on, on the youth, too, as well, because they need to hear a message. They need to hear a message of wisdom. And it's about trying to figure out what, what is that message. But I think that you, in your show, you spoke a lot of great wisdom from the standpoint, you know, because you'll cover both sides of it, you know, and we understand yes. that this is the way it is. But it's time to be a little bit accountable and recognize that if you don't, spend any time in society like for me what i'm going to do is provide nature for you it's a great thing it's good for your soul 
but uh, step away from the computer, you know, spend an hour, not spend four hours, you know, because three hours. Or seven and a half on the average, Stephen, there's been seven and a half hours on the cell phone. My goodness, yeah, yeah. That's a good night's sleep, isn't it? <laughs> sure is. That's, that's more than I get normally. <laughs> it is. <laughs> But that's okay. But you're right. See, that's a lot of time. And, and see, I'm very much in that we got to live in the moment just like you. And I know that that's part of your mantra is about living in the moment and just being conscious of that moment and uh, recognizing that we are creating right there in that moment when we're aware of what we're thinking. And right. so by, you know, harnessing our thinking, because I always I do this in all my videos, it starts with that thought. But it does right. take an action plan. It sure does. And don't be afraid to say the uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to hurt somebody's feelings. Try to say things with as much grace and love as possible. But sometimes you just need to say your point and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've created this world of being so politically correct that it's ruining oh, us. God. It's swallowing it, it, us whole. It is so bad. I can't even take people seriously. Shannon calls them snowflakes, and I, that's my new terminology. Snowflakes, right? Like, like you have these, you have these college kids, and and I almost thought about not sending my kids to college, honestly, because I didn't want them to come back as a socialist, or a uh, a snowflake of worried about being triggered on whatever. These professors have just lost control over uh, bringing rationality of real life information and how to survive in this world uh, in our universities. It is. It is beyond comprehension when you really go in and spend time to see what they're really learning. Because a lot of them come back and they just like they're being retrained on everything you try to explain to them how to live life as a parent. And I, I you know, I, I went with it only because I, my kids are more prepared. I kind of prepared them throughout the years. But it's a scary thought how these kids mm -hmm. are being programmed by people you don't know. They are, and I recognize for, for myself because I kind of grew up in that generation where, you know, you needed two incomes, you know, yeah. and yeah. so because you had to have two incomes to, to do stuff, uh, the kids were taken care of by other people. They were put in daycare, and so we didn't get to raise our kids, and now I, what I see happening is is that these parents are just giving, and I'm guilty of it. I did it. <laughs> I did it with my granddaughter, and Gave her that darn sm smartphone. Oh my God. But we want to be careful because some people genuinely have to do that. And there has to be grace for that as well. If you need to put your child in childcare, I don't want to put a stigma on these moms that are working and make right. them feel guilty for working. Because right. Some people will do that. Right. We do. I mean, we do have to do that. But then we have to make sure that we take time. But my point was going to be that I found that, and you know, I guess I'm talking to me because when I talk a lot of times, I'm talking to me, you know, it just, I just uh -huh. happen to be talking to everybody else too. But the thing is, is that, you know, we give them stuff and try and make it up and here, we want you to have it all, you know, and then we just make it too easy, I think, on them. You know, yes, I understand that we have to, we have to go to work, you know, that we have to make that money to be able to pay the bills and stuff. But, you know, yeah, we also have to take, make time, make time and see, hopefully that's where I'm going to come in for people is I'm going to, you know, awaken people to uh, Atlanta, maybe in the world. No, I'm going to awaken the world. And I'm just going to say, yeah, think about it. Take time to go out there and get into nature, you know, and take a walk. It's as simple as a walk. <laughs> so much what you learn. You're so connected. Take off your shoes, walk barefoot. You feel insecure or high anxiety. Take off your shoes, walk barefoot. You'll be grounded in two minutes. And, you know, and, exactly. and if do if, just do for the biological reactions in the body. If if you know, uh, if you think about it, because it shifts everything. And people don't realize. I, what I find this interesting is that people don't realize our our connectedness to how we are feeling, our beingness. Right, every any given moment, my beingness of how I feel at this present moment can shift and change within seconds. Could be minutes. Could be hours. I could be feeling very happy and uplifting, and then some, some event comes well, around. Well, don't put too much stock in those feelings. Well, I'm, I'm just saying a lot of thoughts will come in your head and right. shift, that, shift that great feeling to some other lower, lower vibrational belief, right? I, and, yeah. And so, so we do have control on how we interpret it, but we don't realize we don't have control only because our subconscious mind, as I say all the time, is running the show. It's, it's yeah. a million times more powerful. So exactly. with that being said, when we are aware in the pre when you're in the present moment, you are aware of your state of being. Yes. When you're out of the present moment, you're in anxiety of the future or depression of the past. You can't focus on your present moment because you're somewhere else. You're not you're not here. Yes. You're not present. Yes. And so that's yes. when we get lost into all this negative programming and this 
attraction and, and how we feel and being is what attracts our reality and also environmental be careful who you surround yourself with and what you're yeah doing. it just stopped for a second yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it did <laughs> it's okay <laughs> Is it back to the well? Uh, one of these days, I'll do it like in Zoom, so it doesn't have these kinds of problems. Um, all I have to do is I'll have to take time instead of doing other things. I need to take time to learn how to use Zoom <laughs> properly. Yes, but um, yes, you do, so we don't have this debacle. We'll do another interview with you by myself. We'll by myself is kind of difficult. That's why I have these kinds of experiences, is because I am the production team. I'm the writer. I'm the producer. I'm the host. I'm it all. But actually, things are turning around because I've been working on this for a long time for for myself and for for the world. And yes. having you here talking to me and sharing the things that you're sharing are just so in tune with exactly what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying and to. That is because we're vibrating at the same frequency. And I learned that from this man right here. You wow. attract what you give. It's got, it like got that. a compliment from the. Yeah, you got one compliment. <laughs> that's our radio. <laughs> It's, and, and that's the beauty of it. And together we will unite. And like you were talking this morning, it is about uniting. It's about uniting our strength and our hope and our faith and our trust in God that he's going to do the right things. And that because of that, we are going and to make a major ourselves. impact in the world. And that's yes. the beautiful part about it. And, yes. and uh, I saw a comment come across that, you know, your show should be renamed. Uh, awaken the planet. <laughs> you know? Yes, it should. Well, we we spoke about you know we had we actually got some things saved on the Awaken America, then Awaken Planet, Awaken. And then we got to the point where it's like, listen, it's not about the title; it's about right. Awaken Atlanta. It's about our energy that we're sharing. And if yes. and honestly, local local is everything because it brings back that it's not about the world impact; it's about the impact we do within ourselves. And if we keep it local, and we realize that as we shift our mindset. We sh and our beingness, we shift everyone else's beingness because we're interconnected with each other. And that's why we kept it awake in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's beautiful. And I love hot Atlanta too, by the way. It's pretty yeah. fun. <laughs> it is hot too. It's yeah. like 90 degrees and in September. Yeah. <laughs> so that's wonderful. As a matter of fact, my, my parents used to live up in Roswell for a while too. So. Oh, we, we are, our studio is based out of Roswell. Our, we do a lot of, like, I mean, we like to think of starting. Yeah, you're in Roswell. Uh, what was I thinking of? I don't know, but next door we, to as well. It's we north, a, of, north of town. We have a lot coming up. We have a, the remotes we're doing. We have a lot of different uh, agendas yeah. coming around the corner. Yeah, so let's I talk about that because about. you're going to be having a thing here coming up in December, as I recall, correct? For uh, Ooh, we're, yeah. we're Wait, our, now we're, it's moved to February, right? Well, no, it's our Christmas. We're having our Christmas party, which will okay. be with, with many folks coming, coming to it. Be a big Christmas party, but in February we're having our UI Media Awaken Stars Academy Awards type of deal. Oh, and and that's where we're going to be uh, honoring all the different hosts and the different um, people, um, what they're doing, how they're serving humanity. Yes, yes. yeah. And and this and this is where we're, we're kind of shifting. Where a lot of times the Academy Awards is all about you know the you know the person and their personality. Here mm -hmm. we're shifting to how conscious are they with waking this world up, yeah. um, what they're doing, and we're what so they're we, doing to give so, back. And that's why we call it the awakened stars. These are the stars that we want people to look up to and to uh, mentor, not the ones perhaps lost in Hollywood. So all people like me won't be winning any awards. <laughs> it's very good job value. It'll you go to people like <laughs> You keep the spice through the bubbly <laughs> one, remember? I'm the bubbly one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So we, we it's so awesome, though. I, you know, I, I just knew that when I heard you the first time, Tim, that it was really something. I mean, there was really something there. And, you know, I didn't even know completely. I, I, I guess there was so much going through my mind. I'm just thinking. <laughs> but I said to myself, those are the kind of people I want to be around. Yes. And so, you know, and Shannon, you're so, so just adorable, really, and so wonderful. I tell you, you just... Are, and so wise, and I and I just love your love of God too. And so vulnerable, she exposes herself all the time. <laughs> she, you know? she, she, you, Shannon. I'm like a streaker. <laughs> and but but because I you know and then I and I have and now I'm there and I'm a regular viewer and and it enhances my life you know and that and we appreciate you so much and what you give back because yeah. you are 
what you say on this platform that we've created is so incredibly wise and loving that we get to share it. So we appreciate you, Stephen, and that's why we're on your show. <laughs> that's we good, we good appreciate you. you. Good to you. Wow, and that's just so. I am so honored. I mean, really, I, I am because you are the ones that put the shows on, right? I'm just trying to put good content out, and I just yeah. like I just. People who have known about this, it's like, you know, even my customer today is like, yeah, I've got this big interview and get to know. And it's like, ah. <laughs> but, you know, yes, it, it's fun. And uh, a lot of times I say things and it's an amazing thing because I'll look back at those comments and I'll say, oh, my gosh, I said that. <laughs> and, right. Oh, you know, and but it's, that's it's how the I feel spirit. I'm watching our show. It is the spirit that's speaking through me on these times. Yes. And so that's yes. why I know. Just like I know for you guys uh, that, yeah, there is a spiritual essence here that needs to be talked about. And that's the beautiful part because that's the connection there of that oneness and that belief and that faith in God for sure. Yes. And yes. well, thank you, Stephen, so much, you know, for, for having us on and, and yeah. taking it to that next level. I really appreciate it. I that. think what is important, what I would like to say from this interview, from any interview, from any show that you watch um, that I'm a part of, I want you to know that my message is clear and I'm going to speak on behalf of myself, not the Tim Ray. You can. But it's to love. We just want to love you guys and we want you guys to go out and love and serve each other because that's the only way that we're going to get. We need kindness. Kindness changes lives. Kindness will change this world. So that's our message, or mine anyway. Well, how can people reach reach that message? On Awaken Atlanta by watching us every Tuesday and Thursday, 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on the UI Media app. That's it. Dot com. Dot com. That's wonderful. Do you have some last words here then for us, uh, Tim? Some yeah, yeah. Words of wisdom. I, just want, I just want to say, I want to echo a little bit what Shannon's saying. It, it is about... Of course he does. Well, you know, our, our UI Media Network, our tagline is called Raising the Frequency. And, it, and the frequency is uh, through love. You got fear and then you got love. And when you could raise the frequency from fear to love, you've done something in this world, you know. And when you could shift that in somebody else because you shifted within yourself, you've done something in this world other than just wake up in the morning and make your donuts, you know what I mean? So Even uh, though we love donuts. <laughs> Who doesn't? So, when, so when, when you, every morning you do, if you could move yourself from fear to allow and love, you've done something very important, and that is, is, is a chain reaction, a ripple in the ocean that affects so many other people, and you can't even realize it. You, yes. You never really realize it's it. It's true. But just know that it's happening. You don't understand the power of planting one seed. Yeah, exactly. So be careful with your words. Exactly. That's that's so great. And, and I just have to say, like I said before, I'm honored, I'm humbled, and I'm so grateful for you for coming on and, and sharing your wisdom, sharing your love, and sharing your appreciation with everybody. It's such a great show. I, I suggest that everybody take time to go watch this show. I see it's going to change your life. And, yeah. you know, if you're watching this show, I'm sure that you know that you think the same things we do. That's why you're watching this show. That's so, right. Yes. And reach you get out. A, and you get we a, have a lot more in common than we don't. Yeah. Remember. Right. And you get a laugh out of the same time. Yeah. Especially exactly. when you listen to her. That's right. It's been wonderful. I really Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, Stephen, very, very so much. much. We love you. And you are so appreciated wow. by all of us at Awaken Atlanta. That's awesome. Thank you so very much. Okay. I appreciate you. You have a great evening now.